My five clearance lights, the three in the middle and the two on the side, they're not cracked or broken. My red lights on both sides, my yellow lights, they're not cracked or broken. My school bus sign is not cracked or broken. My handicap sticker is in place, it's not peeling. My windshield is not cracked or broken, there's no illegal stickers. My registration and inspection sticker are in place and up to date. My wiper blades are secure, not cracked or broken, and making good contact with the windshield. My antenna is secure, side glass convex mirror, not cracked or broken, secure. My crossover mirror is not cracked or broken, it's secure. My other crossover mirror is not cracked or broken, it's secure. My other antenna is secure, not cracked or broken. Side and convex mirror, not cracked or broken, and they're secure. My two headlights are not cracked or broken. My grill, it's not cracked or broken, and there's no obstructions. My signal lights are not cracked or broken. My bumper is secure, not cracked or broken. My license plate is secure, not cracked or broken. Looking underneath the bus, there's nothing leaking or hanging, and the bus is not leaning to the left or the right. Looking under the hood, we'll start with the serpentine belt. It's right there. At the middle, it has no more than three quarters of an inch play. The belt is not ripped or torn. It controls the water pump, the AC compressor, the power steamer pump, and the alternator. The battery, secure, not cracked, broken, or leaking. The terminals are secure and there's no corrosion. My radiator cap, it's secure, not cracked, broken, or leaking. If the bus were not hot, I would open it to see if I could see fluid inside. Bus is hot, so I'm not going to open it. The hose is attached. They're secure, not cracked, not leaking. The coolant reservoir, the cap is secure, not cracked, broken, or leaking. The fluid is above the refill line. The reservoir itself is secure, not cracked, broken, or leaking. All of my wires are secure, not cracked, damaged, or frayed. My oil cap is secure, not cracked, broken, or leaking. It's my transmission fluid dipstick, my engine oil dipstick. To check those, I would pull them out, wipe them off, put them back in, pull them back out, make sure that the fluid is above the line. Transmission fluid has to be checked with the vehicle running, engine with the vehicle off. This is my air filter. It was checked back at the garage. It's in good condition. If I had to check it, I would take the clips off, take the cap off, make sure the filter wasn't excessively dirty, put it back in, and secure it with the cap. It's my power steering fluid. It also has a dipstick. To check that, I would take it out, wipe it off, put it back in, take it back out, make sure it was above the line. The cap is secure, not cracked, broken, or leaking. The reservoir is secure, not cracked, broken, or leaking. The hoses attached to it are secure, not cracked, broken, or leaking. They go all the way down to the steering box, which I cannot see. Only the mechanic can see when he puts it up on a lift. What I can show you are the three bolts in the side of the frame that hold it in place. There's one, two, and three. They're all secure, not cracked or broken. None of them are loose. It's the brake fluid reservoir. It's above the refill line. It's the reservoir is secure, not cracked, broken, or leaking. The cap is secure, not cracked, broken, or leaking. It's my windshield washer fluid. We have enough for the trip. And it's not cracked, broken, or leaking. Looking behind the front tire, we have the shock mount. It's not cracked or broken. There's no loose or missing parts. The upper control arm is not cracked or broken. There's no loose or missing parts. This is my brake line. It's not cracked, broken, or leaking. I have my coil spring. It's not cracked or broken. There's no loose or missing parts. Inside is the shock. It's not cracked, broke, or leaking. There's no loose or missing parts. This is my sway bar. It's not cracked or broken. There's no loose or missing parts. This is my tie rod. Secure, not cracked, broken, no loose or missing parts. It's my lower control arm. It's not cracked or broken, and there's no loose or missing parts. My frame, from what I can see, 
it's not damaged and it's in good condition. The tire, retreads are not allowed in the front. In the front, I must have at least 4 30 seconds of an inch tread depth. To check that, I would check that with a tread depth gauge. And the tread is evenly worn across the entire surface of the tire. The tire wall, there's no cracks, dry rot, or bulges. The rim, it's not bent or broken. There's no illegal welds. Looking through, I can see my brake chamber. I have at least a half an inch of life left on my brakes and there's no grease or debris inside the brake chamber. My valve stem is not bent or broken and it has the cap in place. My lug nuts are all secure. None of them are loose or missing. Inside there, I have my hub seal. It's not cracked, broken, or leaking. And I have my mud flap. It's secure, it's not cracked or broken. Side glass is not cracked or broken. There's no illegal stickers. School bus door glass is not cracked or broken. There's no illegal stickers. The weather stripping is in place, it's secure. My signal light, it's not cracked or broken. My reflective tape is secure, not peeling. All of my passenger windows are not cracked or broken. The handicap door opens freely. Secure is open. And it secures so. I have my handicap sticker, it's in place, it's not peeling. My rear uh, clearance light is not cracked or broken. My reflector is not cracked or broken. It's the proper color. Looking underneath the middle of the bus. You can see my mid-frame. It's not cracked, broken, or damaged. You can see my axle. It's not cracked, broken, or leaking. There's my drive shaft, right there, that long bar. Secure, not cracked or broken, and it's not hanging on the loop. That silver thing is my exhaust. It's not cracked, broken, or leaking. Looking behind the rear dual tires, my leaf springs, they're not cracked, broken, or shifted. All of the leaf spring hangers and the U-bolts are not cracked or broken. There's no loose or missing parts. My frame is in good condition. It's not cracked or damaged. My axle, it's not cracked, broken, or leaking. So I have dual tires. They're sitting on a budded rim, so I have no spacers to check. The tread is worn evenly across the surface of both tires. I am allowed to have retreads in the back, and in the back I have to have two 30 seconds of an inch tread depth, and I would check that with a tread depth gauge. The tire wall, there's no cracks, bulges, or dry rot. The rim, it's not bent or broken. There's no illegal welds. Looking inside my brake chamber, I have at least a half an inch of life left on my brakes. There's no grease or debris inside the brake chamber. I have two valve stems because I have two tires. It's not bent or broken and the cap is on. And the other one, right there, it's not cracked or broken, and the cap is on. All of my lug nuts are secure. None of them are loose or missing. I have my axle seal. It's not cracked, broken, or leaking, and all of the bolts are secure. And I have my rear mud flap. It's secure. It's not cracked or broken. My five clearance lights, the three in the middle and the two on the sides, they're not cracked or broken. School bus sign is not cracked or broken. Red lights are not cracked or broken. Yellow lights are not cracked or broken. My rear windows and the emergency exit door glass are not cracked or broken. The back of the bus is outlined in reflective tape. The emergency exit door is outlined in reflective tape. The emergency door is properly labeled. My signal lights are not cracked or broken. My brake lights are not cracked or broken. My reverse lights are not cracked or broken. My handicap sticker is in place, it's not peeling. 
My running lights are not cracked or broken. My license plate is not cracked or broken. My license plate light is not cracked or broken. My license plate is not cracked or broken. It's secure. The emergency exit door opens freely. It secures open. And it secures shut. My rear reflectors are not cracked or broken. They're the proper color. My bumper, it's secure, not cracked or broken. My tailpipe, it's not loose, it's secure, not cracked or broken. Looking underneath the bus, there's nothing leaking or hanging. The axle is not leaking, cracked or broken. There's nothing stuck between my dual tires and the bus is not leaning to the left or the right. I would check everything on this side of the bus exactly the same as I did the other side except for the few differences. I have another handicap sticker, it's secure, it's not peeling. I have my gas cap, secure, not cracked or broken, it's not leaking, and it's not leaking underneath. My stop sign, secure, not cracked or broken, the lights are not cracked or broken, front and back. And the driver's step is secure, not rusted out, it's not cracked or broken, there's no loose or missing parts. For the interior pre-trip, the first thing you're going to do is check your seatbelt. It's not ripped, torn, or frayed. Secures tight, and the anchor points are secure. You're going to take the key, you're going to put it into the auxiliary position, and make sure that all of... All of my dashboard indicator lights turned on. Did you go? Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to do a safe start, which is starting the vehicle with the emergency brake on. So I'm going to put the emergency brake on, start the vehicle. Now I'm going to do my brake tests. I'm going to start with the hydraulic brake test. It's where you pump the service brake three times and hold for five seconds. The brake should not fade or drop to the floor. Pause. One, two, three. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. My brakes did not fade or drop to the floor. My hydraulic brakes are good. I'm now going to check my interlock brake. I should not be able to take the vehicle out of park with the emergency brake on. Okay, I cannot take the vehicle out of park with the emergency brake on, so my interlock brake is good. I'm now going to check my emergency brake. The emergency brake should hold the vehicle at 1,000 RPMs. I'm applying the emergency brake. I'm going to switch the digital screen to tachometer. I'm going to rev the vehicle up to 1,000 RPMs. Okay, the emergency brake held at 1,000 RPMs. The emergency brake is good. Now I'm going to do my 50 foot brake test. That's where I'm going to drive the bus, stop within the first 50 feet and the bus should stop and it should not pull to the left or the right. Pull the bus forward. Okay, brakes stopped the bus and the bus did not pull to the left or the right. My vehicle passed the uh, 50 foot brake test. Moving up, my headlight indicator on the dashboard is working. My driver dome light is working. It's not cracked or broken. My steering wheel has no more than two inches of play. My horn works. My left turn signal indicator is working. My right turn signal indicator is working. My high beam indicator light is working. My four-way indicators are working. 
My windshield wipers and washer fluid are working and the wipers are making good contact with the windshield. Pause. Looking at the gauges on the dash, my oil gauge is good, it's between 20 and 60. My temperature gauge is good, it's between 200 and 220. My battery gauge, my battery gauge is good, it's between 13 and 15, and it's not discharging, and we have enough fuel for the trip. Moving over, I'm going to make sure that my heater it works on low and it works on high. Turn it to defrost. My defroster works on low. My defroster works on high. My CB radio is secure and it's operational. My seatbelt cutter is in place, it's secure and it's in reach of the driver. My driver glass is not cracked or broken. My windshield is not cracked or broken, there's no illegal stickers. My side glass is not cracked or broken. My school bus door glass is not cracked or broken and the weather stripping is secure. My side convex on the left and the right they're not cracked or broken, and they're adjusted for me. My crossover mirrors are secure, not cracked or broken, and they're adjusted for me. The passenger mirror is secure, not cracked or broken, and it's adjusted for me. Moving up to these lights, my passenger dome lights, they're all working. They're not cracked or broken. My amber indicator light is working. It's not cracked or broken. The red indicator light is working. The school bus door opens secure. The courtesy lights or the step lights are working. They're not cracked or broken. I can see that my stop sign, pause. Looking in the mirror, I can see that my stop sign extended and the lights are working. The school bus door secure shut. And looking in the mirror, I can see that my stop sign retracts. Okay. My passenger or rear heat works on low. It works on high. My heated mirror indicator light is working. My destination or information sign indicator light is working. The rear AC works on low, medium, and high. My wheelchair indicator light is not cracked or broken. I can show you later that it's working. All right, before you get out of the driver's seat, turn the bus off, put it into the auxiliary position. Go back and reset the no sleeping children alarm. My registration and insurance paperwork are in place up to date. Handicap sticker is in place. It's not peeling. Because this is a handicap bus, I have four pieces of emergency equipment. I have my fire extinguisher. It's fully charged to the green. It's not expired and it's secure. I have my three reflective triangles. They're secure. I have my first aid kit with three spare electrical fuses. And I have my fire blanket, which is 35 square feet. And they're all secure. My handrails. They're secure, there's no loose or missing parts. My step lines and my standy line are secure. They're not a trip hazard. Moving on further back the bus. 
All of my seats, <clears throat> backs and bottoms, are secure. All of my seats have seat belts. The passengers are not required to wear them. The driver must always wear their seat belt. My runway matting, <clears throat> secure. It's not a trip hazard. All of my passenger windows are not cracked or broken. I have two emergency exits. They're both clearly labeled. I have the roof hatch and I have the emergency exit door in the back. The emergency exit door light is working. It's not cracked or broken, properly labeled. The door opens and the alarm sounds. Secure shut. My wheelchair indicator light, or my wheelchair courtesy light, I mean, is secure. It's not cracked or broken. I can show you later that that's working. Then I have the emergency roof hatch. It opens and the alarm sounds. And it's secure shut. And that is the entire interior pre-trip of our school bus. After you're finished with the interior pre-trip, ask the examiner if they will help you check the lights from the outside to make sure that they're working. If they'll help you, you'll hop into the driver's seat, check that your lights are working from top to bottom, yell out to the examiner what you're checking. They'll give you a thumbs up whether they're working or they're not working. Same thing in the back of the bus. And if they are not going to help you, then you have to turn the lights on individually, get in and out of the bus, and check them one at a time to make sure they're all working properly. And that will conclude the entire pre-trip of the school bus.